Let's talk about how to live on $30 a week for food. Make sure you stay until the very end where I'll share my number one most powerful secret for eating on a budget. If you're new to the channel and want to learn how to make more money, subscribe and click the bell. That way you'll never miss a video. Cooking your own food and avoiding eating out is one of the best ways to save money. People oftentimes don't realize how much money they are spending on eating out. Those daily coffees from Starbucks and those nice meals you're having three times a week with friends can really start to add up. I know that eating on a budget of $30 a week sounds kind of extreme, but look at it as a fun challenge. And even if you don't live off of $30 a week for food every day for the rest of your life, it still could be a fun challenge to do from time to time to help you save money if you need to. Even if you are trying to save money and you aren't eating out or buying a $5 coffee every day, you still could be spending unnecessary money on your grocery bill each week. Have you ever stopped to think about what you actually buy and spend money on? Do you buy the gourmet foods or do you just buy the necessities? When you drastically cut down your budget, you become more aware and mindful of the groceries you're buying on a weekly basis. Tip number six, prioritize. If you are going to try to live off of $30 a week for groceries, you have to be careful when you run out of something. You don't want to just run out to the store and buy it without thinking first. Ask yourself, is it really necessary for me to have this? If the item you're wanting isn't absolutely necessary, then don't buy it. Since you're running on such a low budget, it is important that you only buy what you absolutely must have. For instance, let's say you ran out of vanilla extract, but you see that the price for vanilla extract at Aldi is $3.55. You may be thinking, oh, no big deal, it's just $3. But remember, you've got to make $30 last for the whole week, so it's best to think in terms of percentage. This $3.55 bottle of vanilla extract is almost 12% of your weekly budget. So are you willing to spend 12% of your budget on a bottle of vanilla extract? And sometimes the answer may be yes. Maybe you need that special ingredient to make your food taste better. And by all means, you want to enjoy what you're eating. You don't just want to be choking down food that tastes like dirt. My main point with this is to remember that vanilla extract, a jar of barbecue sauce, garlic powder, and onion powder all add up. And before you know it, you've already spent $50 on just condiments. Maybe you can buy your vanilla extract this week and a specific seasoning the next week. Split up your high-priced purchases for different weeks so you aren't just wasting your entire budget on spices and seasoning. Always remember to prioritize and ask yourself, is this necessary? Tip number five, eat less meat. Now, some of the cheaper foods to buy are rice, beans, and potatoes. Some of the most expensive foods are things like steak, bacon, and ham. Now, I'm not saying that you have to cut out meat entirely, although you could. However, it's definitely important that you eat less meat and stretch out your meat. Instead of making meat the main meal and rice and beans as a side dish, make rice and beans the main meal and your meat the side dish. Or maybe just try having meat at one meal during the day instead of all three. For example, if you're making a casserole, try chopping up your meat really small and only using half of the meat that the recipe calls for. That way you can make two meals out of the meat instead of just one. This will help you spend less on meat each week so you can meet your goal of $30 a week on groceries. Tip number four, make everything from scratch. This might go without saying, but you should try to make all of your meals from scratch at home. The less you can eat out, the better. And to take this a step further, you should also try to make all of your snacks from scratch too. For example, you may love getting those little oatmeal snack bars that you see in the store, but remember, you can make those so much cheaper yourself at home. Save money on biscuits, cookies, and granola. Try making all of those things from scratch at home. It will be so much cheaper and it'll save you a lot of money in the long run. For everything you buy, ask yourself the question, can I make this from scratch at home? If the answer is yes, then make it yourself. And sometimes there will be the rare occasion when buying it already made at the store might actually be cheaper. For example, sometimes you can buy a loaf of bread cheaper than you can make it. So just go with your own judgment here and use common sense. 
I know it might be kind of nerdy, but you can always pull out your calculator and run some numbers to figure out what the cheapest option would be. When you're living on a budget of $30 a week for groceries, you want to save every penny you can. Tip number three, buy whole foods and eat as healthy as you can. I recently saw a box of 48 packs of ramen noodles for $8.88. That means that each pack of ramen noodles is approximately 19 cents. You could buy several packages of bulk ramen noodles and live pretty cheaply off of just ramen noodles for months on end. But I think we can all agree that this probably isn't the healthiest choice you could make. Remember, taking care of your body and investing in your health is the best investment you can make. By eating healthy now and taking care of your body, you are saving potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars on medical bills in the future. Now, eating healthy doesn't necessarily mean you have to go and buy the $35 bag of organic cherries at Whole Foods either. Like all things in life, it's all about balance. Use your own judgment and common sense. Try to find the right balance between living on a budget and taking good care of your health. Tip number two, keep it simple and repeat meals. Learn to enjoy eating simply. Instead of having a big breakfast of bacon and waffles and eggs and sausage, you might have to settle for a nice big bowl of oatmeal. And for dinner, you might only have a plate of rice and beans. Learn to eat simple meals and when you find a meal that you enjoy, repeat that meal often. I know it might sound boring to eat the same meal over and over again, but if it's something that you like and enjoy, it shouldn't be hard. Having the same meals multiple times each week will make things easier on you in the long run. You'll know exactly what ingredients you need and you'll know exactly how to make a dish that you enjoy. This will save you a lot of mental energy trying to figure out new recipes and buying new ingredients. And just because you're having rice and beans every day or potatoes every day, that doesn't mean that they have to taste the same every day. You can do a lot with different seasonings and sauces. So even if you're having rice and beans every day, multiple times a day, you can season it differently so it feels like you're eating a totally different meal. Before I tell you my number one most powerful secret for eating on a budget, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and click the bell. That way you'll be the first to see my next money making video. Also type the word yes down below if you are going to try to live on just $30 a week for food. Tip number one buy in bulk. Try to get a membership at Costco or Sam's Club. You might be surprised on how much money you can save when you buy in bulk. Let me just walk you through a pretend scenario. Let's say you become a member of Sam's Club for $45 a year. At Sam's Club, they have a 50 pound bag of rice that cost $17.54. So that comes out to 35 cents per pound of rice. At Sam's Club, you'll also find a 50 pound bag of pinto beans for $40.24. This comes out to 80 cents per pound. So let's do the math real quick. Your membership is costing you about 12 cents a day. Now let's say you have three pounds each of rice and beans a day. So that comes out to $3.45 plus your daily 12 cent membership, which equals $3.57 a day. You can even buy a four pound bag of salt for $1.52. Even if you were to have an ounce of salt a day at two cents a day, your daily cost for food still only comes out to $3.59. So with this example, you would spend $3.59 a day, $25.13 a week, $107.70 a month, and about $1,310.35 a year on food. Even with this example, you have some wiggle room to buy different seasonings and spices to change the flavor of your meals. It would take some discipline, but it could be done. Of course, the goal in life is to thrive and not just survive. So if you want to see the nine secrets of self-made millionaires, click the video on the screen. Here, I'll give you nine tips to help you join the seven-figure club.